Hello and welcome to another Let's Play Pokemon TCG Online. I'm Daniel, one of the hosts on the weekly podcast found right here on YouTube, where we cover comics, movies, TV, video games, and more. And we are working towards getting our Blastoise EX on the Versus Rewards ladder. So we're going to jump in and try to get that today. And our first opponent is Octus Cipher, who uses Dragons, Water, and Psychic Types. As well as a couple of colorless, I'm assuming. So we are going to go first. I did not get a chance to see who had the advantage there, but uh, <laughs> definitely his advantage this time because I end up mulligan four times, so they get four extra cards. I think that might have been five times even. So that's they're really going to be ahead on their setup. So unfortunately, this might be a quicker match. Let's see what, what ends up happening here. So let's see. They, they're, they have 53 right now, and they have the option to draw extra, which they should. And we'll see who they end up putting out. Recently, we've been getting really lucky and not getting that to happen too often where they have to draw extra cards and they end up drawing all of them. So they're down to 47. Uh, 43, actually. <laughs> That's right, because of the prizes. All right, so let's go ahead and do a great ball. Oh, nothing there. So let's do some double roller skates here. Uh, we do get heads there. Uh, let's do a tier no. Uh, Professor's Lighter, get some energies out of that. So we're pretty much caught up to them at this point. We'll do another roller skates. Do we get it? We do not. Not this time. All right, that's fine. Mega Gengar Spare Link. We have a Versus Seeker. I'm going to feed the Gengar EX for now. Save the Versus Seeker for at this point, and then we'll just uh, end up passing since we can't attack on our first turn. But they can with the... Oh, they've got a Skyfield too. There's the Hoop by EX. We're just going to give them another setup for two more... Uh, cards, two more basic, three more, I'm sorry, three EXs that they can get. So they end up picking Latios EX, uh, Shaman EX, and the Mega Rayquaza EX. That, that's a really good pull. <laughs> so there we go, they put down the Latios, they're going to do 60 damage already to Gengar EX. And we're down to 110. Let's see if we can, uh, I'm going to try to draw up the Dimension Valley then, or a Double Colorless Energy, so we can at least poison up the Lugia. We don't end up getting it. All right, so we'll just put down the little Litwick for now. Uh, we'll feed the Gengar EX, which is, like I said, down to 110 already. And uh, even if I Mega Evolve it, I don't think I have enough. Nope, nothing I can do here. So I'll just do a regular Night Attack for a 30 damage on the Lugia EX, bringing it down to 140. Uh, unfortunately, that is it. Light Pulse we can use next turn if we survive. Oh, the Deep Hurricane's going to kill us. That's it. For 120 plus the 60, yeah, that'll be it. So just a little Litwick out there to try to save the day. Let's go ahead and uh, Rare Candy it up. Uh, there's the Lucky Helmet that we end up, we drew last time, so we'll get and put that on. Little Litwick, we'll feed it, and looks like that might be game already. <laughs> Yeah, because all they have to do is attach. They don't even have to attach anything. 150 on the chandelier. Do we at least get the satisfaction of feigning spell? <laughs> we do. Chandelier is like I'm at least gonna bring you down, even if we're gonna even if we're gonna lose. That Lugia is coming down with me. That's hilarious. And there's that Dimension Valley right there that we could have used just one turn beforehand. So there's our first defeat for today. And let's go jump right in to another one. Hopefully we'll have better luck with this second match. And next opponent is I am I'm almost nine who uses water and dragon types. And they will go first. They don't have any basics their first time around. And we start off with a Litwick. And once again the lucky helmet we will draw the extra card which ends up being a uh, Tierno. So they've got a Red Ice, they've got a Full Art Blastoise, and they end up doing an end, so that kind of negates the extra card we got. But we do end up drawing up a Mega Gang, or I'm sorry, a Gengar EX out of it. So let's get some energies. There we go. We'll play the Pokemon Fan Club and get some more Pokemon on the field. I'm thinking two Gengars, two Full Art Hump in the Air Gengars. Let's get that down there. Will they be able to knock us out next turn? Purple Coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon. 
is now paralyzed. So I'm kind of running the risk of do I draw up a rare candy next turn? I'm down to 42 cards. I don't have anything that will let me draw an extra card. But you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to attach an energy onto Little Litwick and we'll do the trip over attack which is ahead, so we do end up doing 20 damage onto the Red Ice. And they're down to 100. Blasters EX, there's another energy, so they will do 30 damage and possibly paralyze us. Although even a Muscle Band would knock us out right away. There's another N, so our Chandelier goes away, but we... Okay, so we get a Rare Candy, we get the, the Evil Soda out of it. So there's 30. And are we paralyzed? We are not. Let's draw up. Come on. Nope. It's not going to work out. Alright. So I kind of want to save my Litwick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to retreat, put out Gengar. We're going to feed Gengar. We'll do the Evo Soda for the Lampent. Put that down, evolve it. So he's up to 40. At least we can do um, 20 damage onto the Reg Ice. And we should be able to knock it out next turn with our double colorless energy, assuming we're not paralyzed. So there's the professor's letter. All right. And an Ultra Ball as well. Let's see what they end up getting. A Bagon. That is 60 hit points. The Blasters EX, they're still not building up. What is 70 damage. Their opponents next turn prevent all effects. Uh, of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EXs. That is insane. What do I want to do then? Do I have a tier? No, I do not. Um, done to this Pokemon specifically, so I can still attack the bench, thankfully. Alright, so what we're going to do is let's put an energy onto one of the other Gengars, get one of those guys ready. And I might even do a Pokemon Fan Club. Have I used... Let's do it. So Pokemon Fan Club with the Versus Seeker. Let's use it. Let's get a couple of Litwicks down here. There we go. Two of them, and we can't attack Regice, so we're going to attack the uh, Blastoise EX. So three damage counters on it, so we did have some options there. All effects of attack, so it wouldn't have worked even with the, even if we were to drop damage counters. That brings us down to 100. Pokemon Center Lady on Regice. And uh, 70 damage onto the Gengar EX once again, so that really cripples us there. Uh, roller Skates, help us out. There we go, come on. Alright, so we get a uh, Chandelier out of it. A uh, Dimension Valley. And uh, Gengar is just going to have to go away, unfortunately. Alright, so let's feed the Chandelier Special Energy. We'll hold off on the... Um, yeah, just not attack the blasters again. We'll hold off on on the Dimension Valley for now, and we'll put out the Chandelier instead. So they end up evolving into the Shellgon and knocking out our Gengar EX with the Resistance Blizzard. So we have Chandelier ready to go, and we can't play the teammates. So let's do the Dimension Valley first. Let's do the teammates. And where's my Rock Guard? Actually, I kind of want to. No, we we'll, we'll ever play the teammates. So. I've got a rare candy, I've got a chandelier, so let's pull out another chandelier. And the um Do I want Rock Guard? Is it in our bench? Or in our prizes? I'm not seeing it here. I may have to go for the lucky helmet instead. Yep, it's not there. Alright, it's in our prizes, so we're going to go with Lucky Helmet. Alright, let's attach that onto Chandelier. We'll do a rare candy on one of these little Litwicks up into Chandelier. There it is. And um, we can't attack yet until we feed Chandelier, so let's do that. We'll do the Curse Drop, and I guess I'll slow down the Reg Ice. They're going to do 70 damage every time. Or I can go after the Blasters. Let's go for the Blasters. Alright, so this is the first time we actually get to use the Lucky Helmet. There's a Pokemon Center Lady, which heals up that Blastoise from that attack we just did. But that's another le one less Pokemon Center Lady we have to worry about later on in the game. But as I was saying, the Lucky Helmet, we get to finally use it whenever this Pokemon is attacked. And it is their active... <laughs> it just went away, never mind. That sucks. So 30 damage onto Chandelier. And we are paralyzed. Ooh. Kind of a frustrating match. 
Um, I guess we'll just feed that chandelier and hope that Feigning Spell brings down the Red Ice next turn. If that's even what they end up going with. So there's a Colrus. They're going to get some more cards. There's a Suicune, which goes after our Pokemon EXs. We've seen it all too often. There's a Trainer's Mail. And 70 damage for the knockout. Feigning Spell. Does it work? Yes, it does. So that's something. Uh, we drew up a Gengar Spirit Link. So let's put out... What do I want to put out? They're going to put out... I'm assuming the Suicune. So, yeah, if we had put out Gengar EX, they would have put out the Suicune and kind of prevented us. So they put out the Salamence. Uh, let's see. Let's do the Great Ball. Nothing there. Nothing, 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 nothing. All right, so let's feed the Chandelier, and we'll do the Curse Drop. They're going to knock us out for 100. Well, not quite yet. So let's go after the Suicune, because that's all we have going up against next turn. We'll go after the Suicune, try to go for the knockout there, and then we'll work on the Blastoise EX some more. But the reason I'm going after the Suicune is because after our Chandelier is knocked out, if they put that out, we can't attack it with Gengar EXs. It's completely untouchable because of its ability. So let's see. They get a couple of energies with the Professor's Letter. Salamence is fully powered up. There's the escape rope. It's got to be Gengar. And they're going to put out Suicune exactly as I thought they would. Oh boy. So they're down to 23, we're down to 27. And, um, still no Tiernos that we've drawn? No, not at all. No help here. Alright, so we're just going to have to Night Attack. And we'll go after the Blastoise. Bring it down to 90, and the Sweet Goon's still a double colorless energy. We'll power it up for 70 damage against our Gengar EX. At the very least, if they have a Muscle Band, that'll be another 20, which there it is, the Muscle Band. And there's an energy. So they shouldn't be able to attack us yet. Although the ability here... No, it's not going to do anything. Okay. So I think we're safe for another turn. There's the Sycamore. They're down to 15, we're down to 26, so it's our turn now. All right, there's a Tierno right there. Roller skates. Come on, something. I'm looking for a special psychic energy. There it is. Thank you. All right, so let's evolve into Chandelier from the Litwick. We'll get that draw three right back because we definitely need it. How many have we discarded? Two. So let's get uh, two of our cards back with energy retrieval. There we go. All right, so there's a special energy I was looking for, so we're going to do that. We'll retreat for free. Put out Chandelier, and Chandelier is going to clean up the Suicune here. One, two, three, four. We don't have to worry about that, and we'll go after the Blastoise with the rest of them. So we end up drawing a Gengar. Blastoise is down to 70. Salamance is at 150. So from the prizes, we didn't end up drawing the uh, Rocky, the Rock Guard, unfortunately. So I was going to say the Rocky Helmet, but... I think that is out of rotation at this point. Alright, so Fainting Spell could still work out for us. We've got a Gengar that's ready to go. It is powered up. And I've got the Spirit Link, which I could always use to try to use one of their attacks. For 120. There's a Bagon I can actually knock out next turn if we survive this one. Lysander. Shoot. Put out our Gengar for 100 damage. Actually, it's not too bad. Let's uh, draw up three. We're down to 15 cards in our deck. We've got a little Litwick, which I will hold off and save. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and... Who do we want to feed this time? I guess one of the other Gengars for now. I could have built up another Chandelier, but I've got one. That's doing all right. So we'll switch on over to Chandelier. We'll do the Curse Drop and knock out the Bacon. So that's two less Dragon Energies that are in their deck because they just put it on Baygon and we knocked it out. Went for the easy knockout. Uh, three prizes, so we are matched on that end. But they've got another Lysander, which thankfully I didn't put down the late way because they could have put him out. But they're probably going to draw out the Gengar without any energies on it. Nope, they end up going with this one, which only has... which will be knocked out. So there it is. So now I've got a choice to make here. 
It's at 70 on the Blastoise EX. I'm going to I'm gonna have to try to go for it. Professor's Letter. Two of them. There we go. And um, the Nomega Gengar, so it's not going to help us. Let's feed uh, this Gengar down here. Curse Drop. And if we survive a churn, we might be able to stalemate this one. We might. That's so 100 damage. Uh, we won't survive this next turn. And uh, so let's. I'm tempted to Lysander up. No, I'm going to try to go for the stalemate, Brokettes. All right, let's see if it works out in our favor. One, one, two. One of these should be the Rock Guard. That looks like it was the very last prize. So 100. Let's see if we get the Feigning Spell. Does it help us? It does. <laughs> oh, Chandelier. All right. So end up getting Tails. We will go first. No, one, two, three, four. So we get four extra cards, thankfully. Uh, let's put that, actually let's hold off and not put down Litwick quite yet, just to see if we draw up a chandelier from these four. We get a Litwick. Um, I'm gonna hold off once again, because they could Lysander it out and just win the game at that point. Done. All right, there we go. So let's get some energies. Roller skates does work. Is there a chandelier there? No, there isn't. Let's try again. And does not work. So I'm not going to put down a little litwick quite yet. So instead, we're going to do uh, 30. Actually, they won't be able to knock us out either way. But I would still be stuck with a litwick out there. But we've got 42 cards left. There's a really good chance that we draw up a chandelier. So I'm going to take the risk. Let's put that out there. They get to attack first. Uh, already went down to 42 cards in our deck, which is awesome. There's the Lucky Helmet that we were using ourselves. And uh, I won't be able to use the Dark Corridor and bring out the Litwick because it will be knocked out easily. So, Okay, so there's an end. Do we get a Chandelier? No. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he brought us down to one. Oh, that is funny. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to put out that liquid for sure. Let's do a Night Attack and do three damage counters. I don't know why they did that. It's such an odd move. We'll feed the Gengar another Night Attack for 120. I see what, what they were doing. So they put the, the Lucky Helmet and they're hoping that if I attack them, they'll draw up every single time. But let's keep doing a Night Attack. Bring it down to 90. Let's see what else do we get. Some Give me a draw three. There's a Chandelier, but... I don't have a rare candy. I don't have a lamp pen. Bring it down to 60. There's an evil soda. I'm assuming they're going for the Mega Blastoise. There it is. And they've still got the lucky helmet on it. I could poison it, but that would, at this point, not be the smartest play. So, um, let's see what we do here. I'm going to feed it just in case, and I can try to poison it maybe next turn. So, another night attack for. Bring it down to 70. I can poison it up next turn and possibly win. Another N. Going to bring us down to one again. Dimension Valley. Draw three. Special Energy. We'll feed the Litwick with that. Um, we'll play the Dimension Valley. Might as well. And do another 70. I think that's game. 60 damage. The poisoning on the Gengar. And that was their last one, so we win the Sudden Death Match. So there we go. Looks like we got time for one more match, and then we'll open up some booster packs. That was pretty intense, actually. <laughs> that was really bizarre with the um, with the end, and we could only each get one because there's only one prize card left. But he was counting on me attacking it with damage, so he can drop two with the Lucky Helmet every single turn. Not a bad strategy, but the thing about Ghost Types is they don't exactly do direct damage, they do it through damage counters. Speaking of which, we end up getting a Blastoise EX of our own through the Versus Mode uh, Rewards Ladder. 
So now we're working towards 100 coins to add to our pot of 2705. Next opponent is uh, Little Nahu, who uses Psychic, uh, Electric, Fire, and Colorless. We end up getting it, so yes, we will go first. And we start off with a Gengar EX. Not bad at all, with a Muscle Band. No energies, though, so it's a little worrisome. So let's see if we at least draw one up. It uh, doesn't matter. Uh, we can't attack, and we don't have a Dimension Valley. I've got a Muscle Band that I can attach to. No energies. Crap, this has not really happened. One of the first times that's ever happened. But the Mewtwo EX is weak against Psychic types, so we should be able to do some damage to it. They can attach an energy, and uh, looks like that's all they're going to do for now. Professor Juniper is going to get them more. I'm really shocked there's no energies in this hand right now. There's a Mr. Mime. <laughs> prevent uh, the bench barrier. Prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by attacks. So uh, that does not affect our Chandeliers or Gengar EXs, because that does override that. There's an Ultra Ball. Got a Punkaboo they put down. They're down to two on their hand. They're down to 39 in their deck, though, so they've definitely played a better hand than we have. And if they put down the Joltik, we might be able to knock it out. Yeah, 30, if we can just draw up an energy. Tierno, there's an energy right there. All right. So uh, we'll get the Tierno right back. There it is, and we'll knock out the Joltik for our first prize which ends up being an Evo Soda, so we can actually get the, um, we can actually get uh, Mega Gengar with the Dementia Valley. That would help if we get an energy. Uh, there's another Gengar we end up getting. Uh, let's do another draw three. 6120, 8160. That would knock out the Mewtwo, so that's what I'm going to do, Brocats. All right. So we've got the Dimension Valley out there. We're going to feed the Gengar EX. We're going to go for the roller skates. Uh, does not work. I'm not going to use the Gengar Spare Link or the Evo Soto, but I am going to get some more energies with the Professor's Letter. I'll hold off on the Versus Seeker. There's the Muscle Band. Attach that on the Gengar EX. We'll do the Dark Corridor attack for the knockout on the Mewtwo EX. 160 plus the Poisoning. We'll knock it out, and we get uh, two prizes out of it which ends up being another Versus Seeker, and I think that was an Energy Retrieval as the other one. So we're going up against a Punkaboo this time. If I can draw up a special Psychic Energy, then we should be able to knock out the Punkaboo next turn as well with a Switch. So they end up conceding the match after that, after we knocked out their Mewtwo EX. Let's see what we get here. We got five coins for from the wheel, and one for playing. So let's get some more energy towards the Versus Ladder here towards 100 coins and it says we've got two days left 15 hours and 40 minutes so very cool all right let's head on over to our collection and open up some booster packs some really good matches in there that sudden death one was awesome uh once again chandelier coming through for us so let's open up three of them today and let's see what we get there's a new one right there the porygon uh and the gloom the regular one not the reverse hollow one there's a Reverse Hollow Reg Ice. Oh my god, holy shit. The Primal Grudon EX. Wow, that is awesome. What a great pull. I don't know if we can top that. Let's open up two more. <laughs> Let's go for it. Holy shit. That is awesome. That was really good. All right, so we got the Porygon 2. We've got the Eevee that we draw up. And the uh, Jolteon. Uh, one more booster pack. And then I actually wanna, do want to take a look at that Primal Grudon. Uh, another Spirit Link. So that brings it up to two. Very good. So we're on our way. Uh, we've got another Ace Trainer here. And uh, another Vol Corona. All right. So let's go to our collection. Actually, we're already there. So let's head on over to our Pokemon. Let's search up Grudon. All right, what do you do here? Primal Grudon, it's got the gold border on it, 97 out of 98. If there is uh, any stadium card in play, this attack does 100 more damage and you discard that stadium. So it does 200, but if you have your own stadium card, then unfortunately that does go away. It's got the ability of max. When one of your Pokemon becomes this Pokemon, heal all damage from it. 
So, and that would bring it back up to 240. Um, that's basically all it does, but otherwise it's a really, really, really cool looking card. I don't think it's something that we use, but it could be used to uh, trade it out for another card that we're looking for on our own. So awesome. I do want to remind everyone to click on the Reasons I'm Broke logo at the top right hand corner of the screen that will subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to check out our Patreon account. That's going to be in the description below. And of course, the rest of the show is on nerdupmedia.com, including our regular weekly podcast. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.